Hey everyone, just want to give you all an update on me. I am five months post-op from my double mastectomy with um, reconstruction. I have had my surgery for my implants put in yesterday. It was kind of get up in the morning. We had to get to the hospital at 8.30. Had surgery at, well, supposed to have surgery at 10, but we really didn't have it until like 10.30. So got done with surgery in about an hour, and then we had to stay and you know so keep an eye on me for an hour after that. But um, not painful as near as much as what I thought it was going to be. It's very sore where the incisions are. What they do is they go in and they take the fluid out of your expanders, and then they make a little cut on each side, pull the expander out, and put the um, implants in. My expanders were filled to a 550 cc. He actually put in a 650 cc. Um, so it was going to be kind of neat to see what it actually looks like. I can already tell having those expanders out, like everything is so much lighter because the expanders are so heavy. Um, my back hurts a little bit today. Uh, it has to be just from the surgery. And I am on antibiotics four times a day. I am taking Percocets. Yesterday I took them um, about every four hours. Today has been about every six hours. Um, but it's really, the pain just isn't near as bad as I thought it would be. The most pain I have is where the incision is. It feels like a thousand little needles going into your skin. So that has not been very pleasant. Um, and I also have these like striking shooting pains maybe one or two every hour or two. I'm assuming that'll settle down. They say that you can take a muscle relaxer, which is really a volume, um, to kind of make all that shooting pain stop. I have not done that, and I'm probably gonna try it tonight just to see if it does anything. We are going to unwrap me, I'm, but I am gonna show you what they send you home in, in the hospital from the implants. I'm not gonna show the unwrapping though. Um, but at least you'll get to see what you're going to be coming home in. And he, it's funny because like when you go in there, they do all these markings. Like you can see the purple from the markings just a little bit. But he marks you up just like you're fixing, you know, to have your expanders put in. That way, I guess that just gives him an idea of, of what, you know, he's looking at. You, I'm back in my recliner. I don't know how long I'll sleep there. I, it's just so much more comfortable in the recliner because you can kind of lift up. You don't want to lay down flat too much because they worry about pneumonia, you know, setting in. You have to cough every so many hours, um, or sorry, every hour. You're supposed to get up, walk around so you don't get blood clots in your legs. Um, you're supposed to do a heavy coughing, you know, put a pillow over you, do a heavy coughing, and do some extra breathing and that every bit of that is just so you don't get congestion in your chest. It drank plenty of water. I'm on about my fourth cup of a big thing of water. That's just going to help get all the anesthesia and all the pain meds out of you so it's not in your body any longer. These are This is what I'm actually drinking out of. Like I said, I'm on my fourth one of these. They're saying right now that I get to go back to work Wednesday of next week, so today's Tuesday, so a little bit over a week of recoup time. Um, so that's not too horrible. Now, honestly, I've been I've been up and around a lot today. I haven't tried to do anything major. Like my husband, bless his heart, he cooked supper and he done all the dishes. So I'm not doing any of that. I'm just kind of getting up, walking around, and my walking has been like up the driveway and back, um, just to get some exercise in your legs because you don't want to get blood clots. So um, that's mainly how my day's been. I've had one and a half Percocets already um, throughout the whole day, and it is seven o'clock right now at night. So I think I've done really good with painkillers. I'm trying to get off them as soon as I can, and then just get on ibuprofen. Um, I just don't want to stay on the pain meds a lot, and honestly, it's just it's not near as painful as the double mastectomy. So this is an easy part. I'm kind of excited how it's going to look and. We'll just be done with done with this whole process. So I'm gonna take off my shirt and show you the packaging, or how they sorry how they wrapped me up, and that's all. I just just a quick update on what was going on. All right. So with my shirt off, this is what they have done. They've got 
gauze in here and as you can see it's coming out here I think all, every bit of that gauze is where the incisions are um, and it just wraps all the way around and it's tight and if the velcro I will when you have your implants put in after your surgery get your husband or whoever you're with to look at the velcro because that velcro will wear your skin out if it's touching you um, I'm itchy from all this and I don't know like right there is so itchy and I think it's the gauze like my skin doesn't like that I have really sensitive skin so my skin doesn't like the gauze um, but you can tell they got it pretty tight your boobs ain't going nowhere so um, but yeah that's that's all you come home in and like I said they tell you 24 hours later you can you can take off all this gauze and check everything you gotta make sure there's no kind of infection going on there's nothing red or ugly looking because if they if there is then you have to call the doctor and let them know what's going on because you don't want to wait um, any kind of infection can make you lose your implants and you definitely do not want that so so we'll do a real good thorough check over once we take um, all this wrapping off but, but that's about it um, thank you for watching our channel and please subscribe to the button below and hit like um, and I will give you all an update in a few days and see how we're doing. Thank you.